Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Xbox Frequency playing Factions game number six, random placement, four player game. Bitmap is the map. So we're starting it off here. Uh, I am blue. I chose blue as my color. So guaranteed card is four solar rays. I'm first to act here. So, um,. My approach to this map is you either want to start kind of in the west, the east, or the south, and I have that three there. I'm going to put my capital there because I know I can uh, I go first, so I can put all my troops on there to defend my capital. So two troops is... Okay. Attack dies, two continents. Defense dies, two capitals. So it's on yellow places capital here. He is gonna put it in the west. Swinging on to red now. He's gonna put his capital on the south here. So on to black. Black is not left with many options here. But Black also puts his capital out in the west there. So it's swinging on to me. I think I'm going to put all my resources on my capital here. Mm, I could try to pick my card somewhere else. It almost... I almost feel kind of safer skipping my turn here almost just because if I lose too many I don't want to leave my capital vulnerable here. Ah, Maybe I'll go for it though. I'm going to go for a red here and I'll take it to the dice roll. Take a risk. Nice. 6-5 win. So that's huge. It's, I couldn't really afford losing two there and leaving my capital uh not very well defended. So that's huge. I take a territory in my continent with my capital. And I'm going to leave uh, two there. And leave a uh, five for defense on the capital. So realistically, yellow could, could go for my capital here. The thing is, if he does, he leaves his capital very vulnerable for uh, being take, taken over, so Let's see what he does here. So more or less, Yellow's just looking to defend his capital here, which is probably a good move on his part. Gonna move over one over in uh, in Red's continent with his capital, so I'm assuming he's going for that continent. So now it's swinging on to Red here. Airfield is controlling enemy capital. Guaranteed cars is four solar arrays. So I'll keep those achievements in mind. It looks like red's coming down into his continent here.
It looks like he's going to maneuver one out of Warpaw there. Swinging on the black now. He's going to eliminate red. Or, sorry, yellow. There in Warpaw. He's going to move one back to his capital there. For defense. Oh, and the volcano erupts. And that's what exactly what happens when the volcano erupts. Any of those people in those three uh, territories there will all go down to one. So I know the uh, two troops achievement is 12 minerals. It's kind of risky because that volcano will erupt. But I'm going to throw two on my capital. I'm going to throw two in on Death Door. I'm going to get my card. Ooh, I lose a bit. And uh, I'm going to take a continent here as well. But also, I'm just going to take my card. It was just an easy one. So swinging on to yellow now. Yellow trying to Yellow attacking my two there Trying to attack black Oh and he moves them all in He moves them all into my continent Hmm So it's swinging on to red now That's not good See what red gets up to here. Looks like he's going to continue further his journey on getting this continent here. He gets his card. The question is, is he going to go for for the continent right now? Looks like he wants to. And he goes for it. And he gets it. The beauty thing is he didn't break me in Death Door there. So black going for yellow's capital, which was kind of foolish of yellow not to defend it. So black gets the airfield achievement, takes yellow's capital. And uh, what I think I might do here is I'm going to have to trade in here. Because I just don't... Yellow just seems like too much of a rogue player. I only get two, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to eliminate yellow here. From my continent. And from the east. Because he's too much of a rogue player. I don't trust him, him moving all his troops in like that. I don't like that. So, I might go for four sorrel rays. No. 
I had my two on one for black there. So if I had won that with yellow, maybe I'd gone for the solar rays. But regardless, that's all right. I just want to eliminate yellow, really. And uh, I'm going to get two, ca uh, two continents here, which is the attack die. So not only did I eliminate yellow here from the east and out of my continent, I also pick up the attack die here. And uh, I'm pretty well fortified here in my continent now, so that's good. So I just don't trust yellow. Seems like too much of a rogue player. I just want to eliminate him, get him out of there. Plus, I get the attack die, which is huge. So that's just a bonus on top of it. So yellow looking to uh, take back his capital now since I've eliminated him from my area. And that's the thing, if I just let yellow four sit there, who knows, he could put them all there and went for my capital, you know? It's probably best I just get rid of them now. And that's what I mean by he's such a rogue player, like, no one should have just went to get his capital back, you know? To steal Black's capital there is a little, it's quite risky. So, and he loses them all, leaves himself very vulnerable. Very roguish. That's why I had to get him out of there. And look at that, he quits. So, swinging on to red now. Red is, looks like he wants to uh, eventually take take uh, Mount Magma, which is, uh... oh, he's going for it now, it seems. Yeah, Red going for Mount Magma, all he needs is yellow out of there now, and he gets another continent here. Wow, swinging on the black, who's who's pretty dwindled right now. All he's got is his capital there. Yeah, and he, when he took yellow's capital, he didn't take the the airfield there, so. Maybe he's looking for yellow's capital, and maybe he's looking to get that airfield as well. And he does, he does go take the airfield. I think, yeah, that's probably his best bet to put his airfield right there, I would say. Then both of his capitals are have the airfield defense. So it's swinging on to me. I got two continents, which is huge. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to dedicate all my resources to eliminating Red's 2-2s two here. Going to put them all there. Now I do have the attack die, so that is huge. And that's my theory on attack die and defense die. If you have the attack die you might as well be attacking a lot more than you usually do because you have the advantage of the attack die. If you have the defense die, you know, you should use defense, get people to try to attack you to break you, you know? Whereas the attack die, you want to be breaking your opponent because you have that. So I'm just going to move them all back there. Take two territories from red.
So red could break me down in a... Down in Death's Door there. Where I have my three twos. Oh, he just puts one there. Not quite enough to break me, I would think. He might be, uh, yeah, he's more focused on getting his, um... I would say Red's more focused on getting his, his, con his other continent, Mount Magma. Which is worth three, I don't blame him. Wow. Just takes him out hard. No losses. So yeah, now he's got Mount Magma, but, um... He doesn't have it very well defended, so... Red looking to hurt Yellow some more, who is no longer here. Getting a little risky here. The beautiful thing is he didn't break my desk door there. Let's see what he does. He just moves one up there. Swinging on the black now. Black is gonna take his card out in Warpaw. He's gonna end his turn. Hmm, very weird. So the volcano erupts. So that's good that the volcano erupted because the chance of it erupting again is not likely. So what I'm going to do is I have my 9 there, I'm going to dedicate all my resources again, I'm going to take my continent, eliminate red and then eliminate black, and I'm also going to break, break red in his mount magma, I'm not going to give it to him. I can do this boom I can break them I'll leave three as a deterrent kind of the volcano just erupted so I wouldn't think it's gonna erupt next turn but it very well could and I'm gonna bring these three in the back burner and kind of just defend my borders a little bit more there and yeah I'm gonna take a star right now red hasn't traded in yet so he's got quite a bit of stars here so I'm kind of worried about that to be honest Red could easily trade in and, and hurt me a lot here, so. But it just kind of looks like Red's going for a garrison now as well. You might want to slow grind that or try to go for it. That's exactly what he's thinking. He wants his garrison here. Which is good because he's going to give me three continents here. Oh, and he's going to put a few on his border there. I can probably expect Red to be breaking me in Death's Door in the next turn probably, so... Plus he has a massive trade in. I'm really worried about red here because he does have a lot of cards and he could hurt me a lot. So good thing all he has is black fort. He does have a lot of territory now. So do I though. Hmm, so it's swinging on to me. It 
I get two resources there. So it's hard to tell if the resources are really worth it. Hmm. Just trying to think my best strategy here, what here would be. Hmm. Maybe I want to keep it honest. Maybe I'll throw one on the back burner there. Throw two there on my death door front. Maybe throw a few more for defense. And I'll put the rest over here and I'll just take my cart out in the west, kind of keep a nice present presence in the west at least. And what I might do is I might chance it and I might go for resources here and hopefully the next like few turns the volcano doesn't erupt. So if the volcano doesn't erupt for three turns I'll get the two troops. Actually, well, you know what? It's almost too risky. Bring those three out in the back burner and just bring them to my uh, fronts there. Uh, I'm just not really feeling the additional maneuver. I know red's got a lot of stars, so I, or a lot of cards, I should say. So I just kind of want to keep up with red here. I'm a little worried because if he breaks me, then at least I have a few, few stars I can... Uh, bust back on them with so that's why I'm kind of creating that border defense there because I'm worried that red's gonna come in here and red does trade in and does look like he might be coming for me here oh takes them all off maybe not maybe he's looking to eliminate black and yellow there So I think that's huge that uh, red's not going for me. It's kind of foolish. I'm getting too big. He's got to break me. But, and there, black leaves. He knows he's probably done. Although red is kind of making a decisive maneuver here. He's going to eliminate black for his cards. He's also going to eliminate yellow, most likely, for his cards. And he's going to take two capitals, which is the defense die. So actually, this is kind of... At first glance, it seemed kind of like a foolish maneuver because he had to break me. But he's getting... He should be able to get Black's cards here and Yellow's cards. And he also gets the defense die here for two capitals. So this is a pretty, um, pretty big move on his part, actually. This is not a bad move whatsoever. There you go, he has a defense die, two capitals. He's going to leave a bunch. He's also going to eliminate yellow. So it's a good move on his part. He takes two capitals, war paw, defense die. That's actually a pretty good move. I respect that move, that's not bad. It's definitely a decisive maneuver in this game right now. He needs to defense die, he needs another continent on me. And he's got two capitals, so that's four bonus troops right now, if he can keep those capitals and war paw. So this does have me a little worried. But I think I'm just going to trade in here, because now I know red doesn't have a lot of cards. Well, actually he does, because he took them out. Oops. I guess maybe I shouldn't have traded in necessarily. But hopefully I can maybe just break his war paw here and maybe take a capital if I can do it. If everything goes well. Nice. And I'm just going to always leave one behind here. And I'm going to go right for his capital. And just sit him right on the capital. I was losing a lot there. 
And there we go. Leave one behind every time. Break his war paw. Take away a capital from him. What I might do is... I'm going to bring my six up here. And I'm going to put him on my biggest fourth force here. So if he does break me in Death's Door, I'll have a... Uh, Massive force to take it back and potentially break him. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, I'm still a little sick. I'm getting over it pretty good, but... The last video, I'm sure I sounded a lot worse, but I'm, I am still a little sick. So, that was good. I really hurt Red here. Gonna dedicate all resources to uh, Warpaw here. <coughs> and that's what he looks like he wants to do. He wants to take back Warpaw in his capital. Beautiful thing is, if he loses a lot, he might not be able to do it. down there in garrison so it's swinging back onto me here ah volcano erupts takes me out a bit I just I don't think it's worth it for the two troops to put armies there it's just not it's not really worth it in my opinion so the beautiful thing here is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break red and black fort but also I'm gonna come into warpaw again and I'm gonna go right for his capital here and uh, try to take that other capital away from him It's going to be risky, but I'll go for it. Uh, and I lose him. That's okay. I'm going to smash into Black Fort now. Oh, I'm losing a lot. Wow. Come on. Yikes. So I did lose a lot there. But the good thing is I did break Black Fort at least. I'll just even up the spectrum of defense there. Let's see what red does here. Oh, that's stupid. I gave him garrison. I didn't even realize that. Oh, that's such a dummy move. Thing is, I'm at least making him dedicate a lot of his resources to taking back Warpaw here. He's going to take back Black Fort as well. And I'm trying to... Now that he has the defensive die, it's an even match, but... Oh, he's going for the break. Oh, can he do it? Good defend, defend. Nice. Oh, yes. Nice. Big defense there. That's huge. He doesn't break me in Death Star. That's so huge. And he's got a... Waste a good amount of resources just taking back what's his. Nice, he's losing a lot. Nice. Now he doesn't have much of a defense. Nice. Keeps losing him. Looks like he's going to take back his capital. 
I don't see why not. And he does. So me and Red both have three continents here. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to I'm going to for sure break them in garrison. I might not be able to take his war pop, but I'm going to break them in garrison. And I'm also going to break them in black fort here. And just kind of keep them on edge. Kind of, I'll leave five there to kind of be a thorn. So it's not going to be that easy for him to take it back. So he does have three capitals, which is huge, and he still has Warpaw, so he still gets a lot. At least I can take away two of his continents away from him, at least. I could have brought them all there and maybe went for the capital, but... Even sitting five in there and I still have a nice defense in Death Star is not too bad. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take from my border there. I'm just going to move three more into Death Door there. Or, sorry, not Death Door, but uh, Red South Continent, just to make them harder for him to get. And a double star, that's huge. It's going to make it really hard for him to take back Black Fort there. So, he's looking to... Looking to come for me now. He's defending his war paw. But he also wants to take back his black fort here. And he does have the sturdy maneuver, and he's going to put an extra one there. Come on, defense, defense. At least dwindle them, at least dwindle them. Nice. So he's pretty dwindled up there. Just looking to take back Garrison here. He's losing a lot. Nice. Red ends up losing a lot, taking back Garrison. Nice, and his Warpaw defense is very brittle now, which is really good. So it's swinging on to me. Volcano erupts. And that's why I left no more there. I'm going to trade in because Red just traded in. And uh, now I can take full spectrum advantage. What I might be able to do here is I might be able to... Take away Black Ford away from him. I'm also. Oh. Oh, it's stupid. I should have broke him in garrison first. I don't know what I'm thinking here. Ah, it's a very foolish move on my part. The thing is, I'm going to go try to sweep him here out of his Black Ford. I'm going to take his capital. 
I'm going to try to see if I can break them in garrison from here. And then I, I don't have to worry about... Oh, nice. All I have is one-on-one, -on -one. come on. Ah. And that's just kind of a stupid move on my part. I'm just going to give him garrison. I, I got to give it to him. That was just a dumb part. I'd rather take one of his capitals. Ouch. Oh, I'm losing a lot. Wow. I lost a lot there. Hopefully I can take his capital still. And that's just such a dummy move. But I did take two capitals away from him and broke Warpaw and took Black Fort. So I'm going to throw a few on that capital so it's harder for him to take back his continent slash capital. So Red knows that he can't quite take back his Warpaw. He's just kind of getting desperate now. He's going to bring one back into Warpaw here. Not swinging on to me. Volcano erupts. No biggie because there's nothing there. And that's huge. I took black from fort from him and he didn't even break me either. He actually gave it to me. So that's so huge. And I'm definitely going to punish him for that. I think I might do is I might put it in two forces and what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap around with my 11. I'm going to break them in garrison here. And now I'm going to come with my 6. I'm not definitely not going to leave them in a the volcano death zone. I'm not going to leave him in that death ground because it's too unpredictable, that volcano. The thing is, I might leave one on the back door just to, in case he wants to come in and break me. I might just go for... Ah... Uh, that's ugly. I end up losing them all. And you know what? I think I'm just going to stop there. I'm going to leave my defenses in there. And I'm just going to move my one up here. To kind of have a defense for uh, Black Fort there. Nice. Double star. That's huge. The good thing is... All he's got is a capital. I left him with no continents. So he has 12 territories, which gives him 4 troops, and then his capital is 5. So it's just looking like he's wanting to get his Warpaw back here. Which is okay with me, because the next turn I have so much of of the map that I'll be able to envelop them basically into Warpaw. I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna
take everything from him. So I really got red on the run here. Swinging on to me. Just kept breaking him, not letting him have his continents, not letting him. Oh, looks like I have seven. But I'm also going to trade in because red just traded in. I'm going to use that momentum against him. I'm just going to hurt him as much as I can here. Maybe I'll, I'll take a chance on my two to eliminate him. Nice. That's huge. Oh, I'm losing a lot. It's still good. I got a lot still, so it's all right. So I picked up the four solar arrays, which is the guarantee card. I'll obviously just take that because... Even when you take the guaranteed card, it gives you a card that turn. So I'm just looking to break Red and Warpaw here as well. I'm losing a lot. I do break them though. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 5 I have here. Actually, I might take my 4 on my capital. And bring those up so it's harder for him to take back Warpaw. And obviously I'm going to take the guaranteed card. It's going to give me a card right now, and it's a double star. So swing it on to red. All he's got is two capitals. There's no continents. And basically, all he can do is take back his war paw and, and try to break me. He ends up losing a lot there. He's going to break me in Mount Magma. Looks like he's going to try to gonna break me in Garrison. Can't quite do it though. Red in a very desperate state here. And I'm just going to trade in. Just because I have him on the run. And, uh... Yeah, Red is pretty... Pretty dwindled here. He doesn't got much. I have get huge amount of troops I'm just gonna go try to go all the way on him here I'm gonna take his capitals first though and I'm gonna sweep around and this might look like it just might be game unless I lose a lot here some crazy way oh, I still have a few left boom there we go Game's done. Take down another Game 6 victory. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, Game 6, like I said. Um, four players, switching it up. So, yeah, keep checking me out for faction vids. You know I get them up a lot, so just keep checking me out. I'll be pumping them up. All right, peace out, YouTube. I'll catch you guys in the future.